Hello everyone, welcome back to JP Study Corner. In this video, we are going to see Class 8 Science Chapter 5 Conservation of Plants and Animals Extra Questions and Answers. Question number 1 Why a wildlife sanctuary is better for animals than zoo? Why? Answer In zoo, animals are live in an artificial environment which means animals are not free to roam here and there and also they can't able to hunt their food and eat. Instead of that, they have given food at inter fixed intervals. But in a sanctuary, animals live in their natural habitat, which means they can freely move here and there and also obtain food up on their own. Question number two. Why do you think animals attack humans? Answer. Animals might attack humans because they feel scared or trying to protect themselves from the human. Sometimes they want to protect their babies or their home. Sometimes, if an animal is hungry or not feeling well, in that case also they will attack the human very aggressively. Question number 3. What is natural reforestation? Answer. Forests are destroyed or damaged for so many reasons. But in some time, the trees and plants grow back by themselves in forest after being cut down or damaged. They spread seeds slowly and create a new forest on their own. Or planting trees in areas where forests have been destroyed is called reforestation. Question number 4. Deforestation affects animal explain. So what is mean by deforestation? The cutting down of trees and clearing the forest is known as deforestation. So the deforestation can lead to a direct loss of natural habitat for wildlife. When trees and forests are cut down, animals lose the places where they live, where they find the food and where they raise their young. This can lead to their extinction. Question number 5. Why is the Amazon rainforest called the lungs of the planet? Answer. The Amazon rainforest is called the lungs of the planet because the trees and plants of the Amazon rainforest producing more than 20% of the world's supply of oxygen. And also it helps to reduce the uh, carbon dioxide level from the atmosphere. So that's why the Amazon rainforest is called the lungs of the planet. Question number 6. What is desertification? How does it occur? Answer. Desertification is the process by which fertile land becomes desert due to human activities such as deforestation, overgrazing and poor land management. These activities lead to the erosion of topsoil which reduces the fertility of the soil. So the increased soil erosion can convert the fertile land into the desert which means the particular land is not capable to growing the plants. Question number 7. Suggest some steps in which deforestation can be reduced. Answer. To reduce the deforestation, we should plant more trees. We should minimize paper consumption. Try to use recycled products. Try to spread the awareness about the effects of deforestation. And also shop sustainably certified products. Question number 8. Which city is the tiger capital of India? Why? Answer. Nagpur is also called Tiger Capital of India. Why? Because it connects many tiger reserves in India to the world. Question number 9. What is meant by poaching? Answer. Illegal hunting and capturing of animals is called poaching. Question number 10. Why does urbanization result in the decrease in forest cover? Urbanization makes cities grow. As cities grow, forests are cut down to make space for homes, shops and businesses. Cities also need more wood for building. This means cutting down trees and clearing forests to get those materials. Pollution from cities can cut nearby forests and animals, plants living there. Question number 11. What does the term ecotourism mean? Answer. Ecotourism is a responsible travel to natural areas and understand the cultural and natural behavior of that environment and also help and improve the well-being of local people and learn about wildlife and also support the conservation effort to minimize the harm to the natural world is known as ecotourism. Question number 12. Which was the first tiger reserve in India? Answer. The Jim Carpet National Park is the first tiger reserve in India. It is located in Uttarakhand. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन विच इज द फर्स्ट बयोस्पियर रिजर्व एस्टाब्लिश्ड इन इंडिया आंसर Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve was the first biosphere reserve established in India in the year 1986. Question number 14 When was Project Tiger launched in India? Answer Project Tiger was launched by the government of India in the year 1973 to protect the tigers in our country as their population is slowly decreasing. Let's see some important filling the blanks. Question number 1. The variety of life forms on the earth is called dash. So, a variety of living organism existing on earth is known as biodiversity. Question number B. Naturally occurring plants and animals found in a region are called dash. So, the different plants growing in an area is called flora and the different animals found in a particular region is known as fauna. So, the answer is flora and fauna. Then question number C the species of plants and animals that that have disappeared from the earth are called dash so those species of plants and animals which have been lost forever is known as extinct species yes question number D the dash list the endangered species in an area so what is meant by endangered species the animals or plants which are at high risk of becoming extinct is known as endangered species so the answer is red data book Question number E planting trees in an areas where forest have been destroyed is called dash so the answer is reforestation so reforestation is the just opposite of deforestation so we already know what is meant by deforestation cutting down of trees and destroying the forest and reforestation means planting trees and creating a new forest so hope this video very useful for you if you feel the same please like and comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos thank you